Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Fallout 4 where, yeah, we're on our way to speak to the father, or the son, or, it, it, it's fucking confusing, Sean, we're on our way to speak to Sean, he's directly above us apparently. Good to see you. And of course we can't use the lift. Right, what's the nearest stairwell? Oh, I think I'm on the right floor now. No full damage, baby. Now that you've had a chance to see the institute, I'm still not sure whether I want to join you or not. I don't trust you. First things first. How do I get back to the surface? The same way you got in, of course. You are not a prisoner here. You may come and go as you please. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our model. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without... Proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. Can also be a recipe for good. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that you know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? Why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the railroad are behind you. We'll deal with them in time. Hey. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that. The people of the railroad have been good to me. More harm is done. Now you should get moving. From what I've seen, all they want Many to do is try to help and a delay beings that will have free will and don't want to die. I think he's just made our decision a hell of a lot easier. How the fuck do I get out of it? Oh wait, no, he gave me. Uh, they gave me a, a, a chip thing, didn't they? I can teleport. Well, I'll let Preston know what's going on first. The 
on top of the roof again. There he is. Oh, What's going on? Here's that hollow tape you gave me, full of institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. What do you hope to find? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, yeah. well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. again? Time to do business? Did you say something about directions to Diamond City earlier? Directions. Hmm. Figures. You'll find the great green... Hmm. Ah! Uh, 69... Piper. Preston, where are you? This time of night, I reckon he's probably asleep. Excuse me. Come on your feet, Preston. Is there something you need? How are you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor. Anything else? No, nothing. No problem. No problem. I was just sleeping. Woke me up. Fuck you. <laughs> Heads up. Well, you sure managed to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? Is that a problem? Not at all. <laughs> Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, <laughs> wow. executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Get in trouble. It's what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory. But because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. Flirt. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, huh. Blue. That's, that's awfully sweet. And unexpected of you. So, you want to get out of here? Heads up. <laughs> Look alive. Look alive. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for six. Hey. You thought you could use a pick-me-up. 
Your thoughts? How did I ever travel without you, Blue? Are things all right between us? Well, it's awful nice to be traveling with someone who's got their head on straight. So, I'd say I'm good. Oh. I just wanted to check in, make sure things were all right between us. You got nothing to worry about. We're good, Blue. <laughs> get back to making trouble. Your thoughts? You sure know how to show a girl a good time. Your thoughts? You get a lot done for an old timer, don't you? That's all. <laughs> okay. At least we're building a good rapport. And happiness isn't going any further. De defense has dropped. Why is the defense dropped? Let's stick another two turrets down here. drop the seeds off. Right. I've just realised we've still got the Automatron quest to finish. to see about doing that at some point. Didn't run into too much trouble coming out here, I hope. Some blood bugs chased me halfway across the Commonwealth, but I made it. Yeah, those things can be pretty territorial. <laughs> Glad they didn't catch you. Since you traveled all this way, how about a quick tour? Right this way, if you please. I'll show you what we've been up to here at the Warwick Homestead. Yeah, he's leading us away from everyone else so he can talk to us and drive us. some tough times here, I don't mind telling you. We're proud of what we've accomplished here. But we're only getting started. Just looking to trade a little. Of course. Let's trade some things. You got the seeds? Good. We'll take those. Listen, I need your help. The whole operation's in danger of being exposed. What happened? Why? What happened? I think my foreman, Bill Sutton, suspects what I really am. He's been spying on me and having secret conversations with our farmhand, Cedric. Now. He's starting to work on my wife and kids. Trying to turn them against me, too. No one would want that. Just how dangerous is this foreman? Is he a real threat? I don't know, maybe. He's heard all the same boogeyman stories as everyone else. A lot of people up here are scared. They're seeing scents around every corner. Anyway, there's more to it. Cedric's vanished. Oh. Bill says he had to visit a sick relative, but I think he went to get help. Do you have any idea where Cedric went? Of course I know. The whole point of their plan was to keep me from finding out. But I have a feeling that someone around here does. Bill's taken June and the kids into his confidence. He might have told them what he's planning. Right now, they're too suspicious to talk to me about it. But they've got no reason to suspect you. Just remember, Bill's got them all pretty I was about to say, you replaced their father. Hey. Just let... what do you need? Your thoughts? I'd always heard folks were nicer in your day. Never expected I'd see it firsthand. Your thoughts? Piper and blue. <laughs> Sounds more like a jazz combo than a traveling outfit. <laughs> but it'll do. Your thoughts? Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Oh, nothing. Sure.
Is this something important? Because I'm not really in the mood for a chat right now. You've got bright purple lips, mate. Trouble with your husband? As a matter of fact, yes. I'm just feeling, I don't know, conflicted, I guess. My husband has How? changed. And it's not a bad thing. He's actually a better man than he used to be. I just don't understand why. Meanwhile, our foreman has this crazy idea that Raj has been replaced by a synth. Do you believe him? actually believe him? I honestly don't know what to believe. It's true Raj has been acting different, but is he a synth? That just sounds so far-fetched. If your husband wants to be a better man, you should support him. You're right. I'm his wife. I should stand at his side no matter what. He won't change Bill's mind, though. He gave Cedric a pile of caps and sent him off somewhere. I think he's trying to get outside help. They were talking about Good Neighbor. I've heard some pretty oh. bad things about that place. If you can find out what's going on and put a stop to it, you'd have our gratitude. You ain't earned my trust, so we got nothing to talk about. I just want to trade a few things. Sure. So he doesn't trust me, but he'll trade with me? Right. Where's Cedric? A good neighbor. Thankfully, we have friends and good neighbour. Travel fuel. Want one? Your thoughts? Hmm. Nice to see there are still some folks. <sighs> Reporters. That's all for now. Okay. Ooh, sorry. Um. Heads up. Heads up. Look alive. Where to? What's going on? Your thoughts? I like my pistols like I like my company. High caliber. I'm talking about you, Blue. Oh? Your thoughts? Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. Oh? Your thoughts? Right behind you. Your thoughts? Anything I can do? You just say the word. I just wanted to check in, make sure things were all right between us. Things are pretty good from where I'm standing. So long as we're helping people out here, I'm all in. Is everything okay between us? Not a lot of complaints at the moment. And you can ask around. That is a rare that's all for now. Okay. Right. Looks like our boy Drake might have uh, a new lady friend. In all fairness, as soon as we met Piper, the way she was reacting with him, I kind of figured they'd, there'd be a romance option for him. All right, let's focus on finding Cedric first. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. Hey there. I toss out the troublemakers. Keep that in mind. Peace, brother. Huh? No Don't quarrel. have no handouts. I want to know what you and Bill Sutton are planning. Yeah? What's it to you? Answer my question. Why did Bill send you here? I heard you twice the first time, stranger. Thing is, I don't see how any of this is your goddamn business. Unless, maybe Roger put you up to this. Tell you what, though. Maybe we can help each other out. If I learn anything here, it's that information's got a price. 
Just like everything else. I got no particular loyalty to Bill Sutton or to Roger Warwick. So make me an offer, and let's see what happens. I know you're in a tough situation here, but lives are at stake. Please, help me. You know what the right choice is here. Bill isn't the only one who's afraid. People all over the Commonwealth are talking about this institute. I don't trust the institute Maybe either. Right. Maybe we are letting that fear get the best of us. Oh, truth is, this whole trip was a damn fool idea if you ask me. Bill hands me a fistful of caps and says, Go to Good Neighbor. They got all kinds of shady characters there. Find us a mercenary. So, I'm supposed to find some contract killer like I know how. And then hire him to take out Roger. First I agreed, but now I'm thinking the hell with Bill Sutton. I'll just stick around here for a while. Of course, he's probably figured out that I ain't coming back. <laughs> Might just take matters into his own hands. As frightened as he is, the man's capable of just about anything. Yeah, we better get back down there. Wow, what a lovely place to get changed. What, you need something to take? Look alive. Fred out. Here? Hotel Rexford. Oh, one ever Moving out. Uh-huh. Hey, whoa, Piper. Whoa, whoa, now. You talk to all you need to check it up. I'm sure they'll not like me to clean it up a notch. We can put it on the grid on the bed. I get it while it's hot. Got something for me? Your thoughts? Most folks are just looking for a hand. Your thoughts? I'd rather know an ugly truth than a sweet lie. Your thoughts? I needed a trip like this. Thanks for letting me tag along, Blue. I just wanted to check in. It's about to say making sure I made right the wrong decision. Well, I gotta say, I like the way you've been handling yourself. Here. Commonwealth's not an easy place to do the right thing. But somehow you manage. Is everything all right between us, Piper? You got nothing to worry about. We're good, Blue. Well, what do you say we get back to make it? That's all. Sure. Come, Piper, let's go. That we get there in time. So if we're too late, he'll have killed Roger. Any institute might blame it on us. Which is something we do not want to happen. Please, I'm begging you. Let's just talk about this. You. I know you're part of this. You probably killed the real Roger, so this thing could take his place. There's no need for violence here. Let's talk things over. You're stalling. You're going to try to talk me down. And then when I'm not expecting it, you'll get the drop on me. Who the hell are you, anyway? I'll tell you who you are. You're one of them! You show up out of nowhere and have your secret chat with Roger, and the next thing I see, you're up looking for Cedric. That's right. I figured it out. <laughs> I know you're up to something, and I ain't gonna trust a word you say. And Do you really want to leave these children without a father? Their real father's long gone. And I'm guessing you people had a hand in that. So what do you plan to do, stranger? Are you ready to take a bullet for a synth? 
And you? Will you really risk your life to prove an insane theory? Guess you're about to find out. Oh, damn. Bill was a good man once. I don't know what happened to him. You okay? Yeah, mostly. I thought for sure I was a dead man. What happened to set him off like that? Bill was already on edge. But Cedric hadn't come back yet, and then you showed up. I guess he figured <coughs> his time had run out, and he decided to take things into his own hands. You can tell our mutual friends that I'll get those seeds in the ground and have a report ready soon. In the meantime, you'll be safe out there. Excuse me. Got a few things for trade, if you're interested. Lord knows it wasn't always that way. Not now. <laughs> Just wanted to trade a few things. Go ahead. So you can't talk to any of the others. Let's trade. Okay. Huh. Hey. Out with it. Your thoughts? There's a story here. We'll find it. Your thoughts? Maybe constantly trying to kill us. Right. Is everything okay between us? Well, it's awful nice to be traveling with someone who's got their head on straight. So, I'd say I'm good. That was all I had. Okay. Right. Not the ending we'd want for that, but... Okay. So the next quest would be the synth retention one. And where is Libertalia? The island. I think it's the island where we went with the uh, Brotherhood, took out the super mutants, did the um, mini nuke storage. I like the fact that this is a pathetic creature that will run at the first sign of contact, but it can prove to be a deadly opponent. So, why are you calling it pathetic? <laughs> If it can kill you, it's not pathetic. I'm ready to move in, sir. You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, sir. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word, and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. We're in this deep with the Institute as is. Couldn't hurt to have someone with real combat training watching our backs. Wait, did you hear something? I guess it's clear after all. You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. The raiders know we're coming. The sooner we get started. Oh, please tell me he's not doing what I think he's doing. Yeah, I'm staying way out of that. If that fuck is dumb enough to attack the Brotherhood of Steel. Phone's going off. Yeah, I ain't getting involved. Me 
Yeah, he's gonna die. The Brotherhood are attacking Libertalia for us. That's handy. Alright, you know what? I'm going to win this episode here because I've got a feeling I'm going to have to leave and then come back so the Brotherhood buggers off. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like it. As always, there will be a link to the full playlist in the description and I hope to see you next time. Adios.